Why hello there, this is Buster here again with another reaction video. I'm sorry for taking so long to get back. I've been updating some documents uh, in my real life. Of course, that takes precedence over uh, doing videos. I'm sorry for that. But I'm come back with... I'm gonna make more and many videos for you. I'm sorry for the long hiatus. Because also, I did my computer and I finally set it up. It's properly fixed and it's getting... It's ready for me to do some things. If you want me to stream some games, leave a comment down below on what you want. And remember to like, comment, subscribe to the video. And this has been a long time coming. People have been asking me to react to this certain uh, channel, and at the same time, uh, let me get this. Uh, people have demanded a lot of the view. I know it's just a small number, 280. Let me get this up to the screen, and I hope you guys appreciate what I'm doing, even though it's stupid and dumb. Let's go for it. And uh, here we go. 280 and 83 percent of you ask for this and i am going to be reacting to the acting male which is i avoided this for a very long time because of the problem and the issue that was brought upon youtube and for and i'm happy for him that he's back and he's remonetized and i don't wish anything else like that to happen to someone else we're just here in the community just doing our thing and enjoying our company with each other with our own tastes but still this is a video long overdue and i'm sorry it took me a month to get to it i'm sorry i just wanted the whole issue to be blown over so i can get to it and i've been really busy so i'm sorry about that uh i'm gonna add a new thing i hope it works that chapters for you guys to see if you want to watch my introduction and my apology it'll be marked there in the timestamp and the beginning of the reaction will be in the timestamp so you don't have to waste time in typing where does the reaction begin but at the same time i hope to give you your personal taste some priorities i know i'm accommodating everyone as much as i can so here we are and this is the acting male and i hope he doesn't get angry at me for reacting to his content but believe me i applaud this man and salute him because he saved me some money on what i wanted to buy in 2021 so he's the reason why i bought halo infinite because the other games him and angry joe just showed me they sucked. <laughs> they sucked bad, and I don't want to waste money. I'm trying to save it. That He helps with my decision-making skills in buying games. Thank you, Acting Male, for your content. Thank you for helping me in my decisions <laughs> in life, even though it's just a small thing, but still. Thank you for being a contribution to the community and telling us what the problems are and what the issues is and i'm gonna be reacting to this there will be some rants depending on what touches my nerve and i hope you guys be patient with my dumb ass again i am sorry for that here we go this is another reaction video by the acting male why is call of duty vanguard so bad that's the question i don't know i just got a generalization that it was not good for many people and guess what? I'm streaming on Twitch now. And you can follow me at twitch.tv slash the acting man. Oh, if you guys are wondering what my Twitch is, I'm still trying to set that up. If you guys are interested in me doing Twitch or live streaming, uh, leave a comment down below. And I'm going to put up a vote if you want to see me live reacting to vi certain videos. I hope I don't get copyright, of course. And let's get on with this. Sorry for pausing. <laughs> in five seconds into the video it's the sexiest channel around what's up everybody this is the act man here and today i am so incredibly pumped to finally bring you my call of duty vanguard review okay i had so much fun playing this game i can hardly believe it or contain my excitement this truly is the most immersive call of duty experience to date and it is without a doubt so awesome. Can I go now? You guys want the real review? Okay, fine. I'll give it to you. He is making a commentary at Activision is having him on gunpoint. <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't seen someone done that. <laughs> Gun I'm making a commentary through gunpoint. Please don't harm me. Please don't harm my family. <laughs> 
This guy is really comedy gold. The best way I would describe Vanguard is to call it Apathy the Video Game. Apathy is death. Worse than death. A distinct lack of effort, creativity, and passion is all you will find in this recycled That's wasteland. That's the description of it. Bare minimum amount of content. Loss of interest. A game with no identity. The campaign designers phoned it in. The multiplayer <laughs> what was team that? clearly didn't care. And the zombies? Sorry to say this, guys, I never played Zombies. I tried playing it at World at War, and it scared the baloney right out of me because I played it solo, and I was surrounded by a cluster fudge of zombies, and I don't want that happening to me. Again, and you, and you, for your information, I don't play any horror games because it gives me nightmares. I've got a photographic memory, and it will haunt my dreams if I even dare. Uh, that's why I don't like Dead Space. I don't like uh, Outlast. And I don't like Five Nights at Freddy's, even though it's just jump scares and not horror too much. I'm sorry if I triggered someone out there. And I don't like zombie shooters. Resident Evil, no, no. I played the PS version of it, too. And not a good memory. What a joke. From the moment the game boots up, your nostrils are assaulted with the stench of unoriginality. <laughs> There it is, stuck next to two other games so utterly alike that Vanguard might as well just be an expansion. This game is undeniable <laughs> that proof that Call of Duty right. needs to stop releasing every year. Hell, it needed to stop doing that five years ago, ten years ago. But, oh my, would you look at that? The prophecies were true? No new Call of Duty for 2023? Oh my god! I hope so. What is there to say about Who was that? That hasn't already been said about Afghanistan. It looks bombed out and depleted. Now, technically, this was the best-selling game of 2021, which has me screaming into my pillow every night. Kiss me! <laughs> but when you look at what most fans and people are me saying too, about Vanguard, if that were the at case. best, it's indifferent, and at worst, it's this video. People don't seem all that interested in this year's COD, and maybe they don't understand why. But that's where I come in. I contemplated okay. on even making a review, which is why it's taken so long. You know, the only way I was going to stay sane is by roasting it to the point of absurdity and pointing out what little the game does well. Alrighty then, let's wait in line at Disneyland, watch grass grow, <laughs> and fall asleep straight into this. Oh boy, it, you know I what's think great? it's really bad. Charity. You know what's better? Getting an Axeman plushie. So we have less than a week left to sell at least 200 of these before they're all shipped out. And I figured it'd be cool to sell me and donate the money that I would get to charity. But if you'd like more info on the charity itself, it's Gamers Outreach, and you can find their details in the description. I feel like this is a great way to get cool, exclusive, limited time, never gonna be sold again merchandise for <laughs> all the hard limited act edition fans out there. Or even the casual act fans. Let's take it a step further. We sell 300 of these Act Man plushies. I'll put Red Dead Redemption 1. I kinda take offense to that because I'm a simple casual. <laughs> Sorry for that. I'm not a pro at this. I just play games just to enjoy it casually. I don't care what people think. I don't care about the politics. I don't care about what you may believe because we have our own in uh, differing opinion. I respect your opinion and I hope you respect mine. And we can just get along. There's no problem with anything. I don't care what you what you are or who you are or where you came from. We're just gamers, just in trying to enjoy a game. But if you're a cheater, I will hate you to the point that I wish you burn in a lava. In lava. <laughs> because you do not belong on any society ever. I don't even know why people think cheating is fun. Not at all. Next on my to review list, if we sell 700, I'll review Red Dead Redemption 2 right after that. Check it out at makeshit.com. I'm Thank interested you guys in all that game. So much for supporting the channel and helping to raise money for a good cause. And now for something completely different. The first oh. thing you'll notice when a sequel fails to impress is that you immediately want to play an older title in the same series or something else entirely. Ooh. With a good game, this is one of the last things a player will feel. After two <laughs> matches of Vanguard oh multiplayer, 
I did the same thing I did after COD World War II came out. Went straight back to World at War, actually had a good time with the homies. So yep. let's start with the I worst like that part game. of Vanguard and work our way up. That's right. It's time to discuss... Zombies. God, forgive me. Here's a sentence that has never come out of my mouth and never will again. I'd rather be playing ghosts. I'd Why? I'd rather be playing that extinction. That game sucks. That wasn't a joke. If I ever compare a new Call of What's Duty wrong to with ghosts, my camera, for and goodness ghosts sake. comes out on top in some way, you know, you done, done fucked it, it up. up. I'd take Exo Zombies, COD World War II. I'd even hop on a match of Transit before I'd touch this abomination ever again. Something's and it's not just the me. Camera. The entire Zombies community has banded together on this. Never thought I'd die fighting side by side with a Black Ops 4 fanboy. <laughs> what about side by side with a friend? I. I can do that. I could do that. I don't <laughs> think in my whole 10 years, 11 years, Black Ops is seen Call of Duty Zombies games release, I haven't seen anything as negative as this ever. COD Vanguard came out. Call of Duty Vanguard came out. I did not buy it. I am not interested. I am Ooh. so, so, so mentally checked out of Call of Duty in the year 2021. I want to make it abundantly clear. How that I am done. How with bad is it? New Call of Duty games coming out. I sit before you and tell you that Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies is arguably the worst zombies experience I have ever played. I have heard is of an Bricky. insult to the sixty dollars I spent on the game. Sixty I wouldn't bucks. Spend Ten dollars on this game. I wouldn't play it if it was free. I just didn't feel like the game was worthy, really, of my time. It wasn't captivating for me. If I want to check this out, Vanguard, I'm sorry. I will look for a discount. I hope it's a large discount, but I don't believe it. This damn game is worth sixty bucks. Believe me, I don't believe it. I don't. <laughs> If it's utter garbage and it's price tag 60 bucks, I'm going to wait for a few years until it becomes 70% discounted. For goodness sake, that sucks ass. Sorry if I cursed. Uh, I am triggered. Put the meme in there. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hold my attention. I finally drew a line in the sand. I'm finally standing my ground. I'm done buying your shitty games, Activision. I have waited so Syndicate. excitedly for this game. I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10. My first run lasted Ouch. about an hour and 10 minutes and I was bored halfway through it. On my first run, I was bored. You know, honestly, um... I mean, in these videos, we I don't know the rest of these content. guys. We review content. We analyze the content. It really goes to and show there you is just no how content. terrible it is when the most die-hard supporters and fans of this franchise are straight up break? saying, "Just don't, just don't Grab buy a Kit the game." Kat. Just, just don't buy the game yet. If you're buying it for zombies, just, just don't. I'm gonna buy it for the campaign, and that's about Please. it. So where do I even begin? Well, would you believe this crap is somehow more bare bones than World at War? Yes, fact. It's not even a complete skeleton. It's just a single rib with no meat on it. It's the rib bone that falls off your plate and we're the dog that eats it. <laughs> just think about that. 2008. <laughs> Call of Duty makes its first attempt oh, in this a is what I played. type mode. And, and it scared me shitless. And that has more going for it than the 11th. I mean, I guess that's what you'd expect that's from an accomplishment, right? <laughs> No wonder. This is the act man here. You... What's that? I'm... I'm getting intel. Wait, Treyarch made this? You're... You're kidding me! I'll have to talk to you later. Treyarch is a good company, what happened? Father, why have you forsaken me? Before Copyright. I spread my cheeks and unload my bowels on Vanguard, I want to say I blame Activision for this. And their oh. archaic methods of yearly oh, releases, boy. profit over everything, strict deadlines, and their complete unwillingness to delay features that aren't ready and give these studios the fucking time of day they need to make something good. With that being said, Vanguard Zombies on paper is... is a checklist of everything good, everything you love about zombies. Except it's all crossed out.
That's another piece no, of that's content bad. removed from Republic control. Are you ready for this? Okay. There are no Easter eggs in Vanguard. What? No hidden songs you can trigger. There is- Hey! I've been watching Vanoss play zombies. I grew up with Vanoss. And Easter eggs are one of the most prominent videos I watch on Vanoss when they play COD Zombies. How in the hell do you not have Easter eggs? How many games have Easter eggs? Please tell me in the comments. How many out of how many? And if only one of them don't have it and it's Vanguard, you guys utterly suck. If you broke the freaking trend, you suck. If you're wondering, I'm not using my big headphones because it's it gets sweaty. There's not one single boss. <laughs> Only three enemy types. You ready for another one? One. <laughs> Joe. One. And it sticks together with parts of the multiplayer and Shinonuma from World at War. They couldn't even create their own original map. Vanguard wow. Zombies does not even have a freaking wonder weapon. What? I've seen the wonder weapon. I used it. Once. How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. The original Nocturne Toten had the ray gun, and pretty much every zombies map has had the ray gun since, except this one. But wait, there's more. All right, that's it. That tears it. That tears it. Now you guys suck. I remember the days when I bought a game. Remember, I am old as fudge, and you guys better be ready for this rant. I remember the day when I bought many games. I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna put it up here. Are the games that I bought, and I don't have to pay any more to enjoy the whole thing. Remember when games were sold complete, complete the package in one set so sell. For goodness sake. Today is like, I'm triggered, I'm triggered right now. I remember the day that is how it used to be, but now, when they sell a game, it's like an installment. It's like I'm buying a refrigerator in installments. I down payment for the whole thing, and then throughout the years or throughout the months, I will be paying it in installments. That's what it feels like the, the business model for the games today. Is we get 60% of the game and it updates occasionally. I don't know if they're consistent with it. They're gonna update it and you have to pay for some of the updates like the DLCs. For goodness sake, it's like a, if you... I'm gonna give you a little business tip in life. If you're gonna buy something like an appliance, do not play in installments. Because if you cross it with something if with its original price if you pay for it in cash in cash is extremely cheaper than paying it for an installment for god's sake when you calculate the installment it will be the price ri rose by 10 to 15 percent exam example i bu i buy a refrigerator for 30000 and if i pay it for an installment it will come out in 47000 when i'm finally done and i've used the, the the refrigerator for at least a year and a half that's what games feels like to me and it sucks dick pardon my french it is not a good experience you're basically robbing us in broad daylight it's highway robbery what you're doing i'm gonna if you're gonna make a monetization uh system i would prefer to it that if i'm buying skins like in league of legends it's a free-to-play game but i enjoy buying skins and that's about it i don't see i don't have to buy for something like an additional function like a, an additional map or an additional blah 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 <laughs> Additional weapons, additional gadgets. That is bull crap. I'm sorry if I am, I am absolutely triggered right now. I am a calm individual. I am calm. I am calm. What sorcery is this? If you get that reference, thumbs up to you. You're talking to a man who grew up. What is your very first PC game? For me, it's Red Alert 2.
and Yuri's Revenge. That's it. Battle Realms, that also. And I didn't have to pay for DLC. The only thing I bought was the expansion to add to Red Alert 2. That's about it. And it was a complete package. Ah, greedy people today. Ruining the industry and ruining the community. All for the sake of money. Well, money is a motivating force. But I'm not, but I'm not that much of a shill when I know when to draw the line in the sand and I'm not going to let you abuse me any further. That's it. That's it. <sighs> Sorry about that. Let's get back to the reaction video. If you order Vanguard right now, we'll also take out round-based maps in progression. There's no rounds, just four different objectives put on repeat until you get bored and shoot yourself. Not a single new I arc would. has been added. Why? Why? Did I also mention there's only five and you can get them for free? What the fuck is this? Remember how you get a special That's cool ammo for as pack of a weapon in every other game? That's gone, scrapped, dead, and we'll patch it in later. You ready for this one? There are no wall buys. Every gun you get is from the mystery box or picked up at complete random. Hi! Wow. You subscribe no while I'm recording. Bowie knife, Amazing grenades, job. Can't buy shit off the walls when you're in a pinch. The specialist abilities are pathetic. What's that? There's also no doors to open, no map progression what whatsoever, no strategic pathways to open. You mean there's nothing to actually learn? This is like I'm in high school and we have an assignment, and the asshole right next to me did not even do it, and it's now catching up, and it's and he's only 50% done. That's what it feels like. For God's sake, this sucks about the map what no is this hell we are living in or point rationing but wait it somehow gets worse there is nothing to interact with not a single thing on the map you can interact with to set it apart no traps or springboards flying elevators low gravity environments hidden areas don't gotta worry about turning the power on because there is none no walls to board up no building shields collecting items what there a is load of horse nothing crap. to do you think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. I spent 10 minutes well, complaining. Funny man. Is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Modern gaming has gotten so far out of control that Suck Derek it. has to patch in wonder weapons, pack a punch camos, and a fucking pause feature into a zombies mode. Woohoo! Don't you love live service games? Fuck, dude, <laughs> it's pathetic. This yeah. is laughable. You can yeah. actually get kicked from a solo match for being inactive. Oh, and you can't pause the game? Are you kidding me? How did they fuck this up so bad? I agree with you 100%. Offers deep That's not right. <laughs> I can pause it in solo. Zombies. In World at War. There's nothing to do. It's painfully boring. There's no reason to replay it. No reason to grind. Hell, they didn't even come up with unique weapon skin unlocks for playing zombies. They literally just reskinned the ones from multiplayer. I mean, how fucking lazy can you get? Apathy is death. Rather than An starting accomplishment. a match with zombies pouring through and a scaling difficulty, you instead choose a portal to go through. Wait for your team to approve. Uh, sorry about this. I'm gonna say to my Filipino audience, if you're watching, this is basically the accomplishment of Juan Tamad. If if you don't know what that means in English, I apologize. If I'm gonna translate translate it, it's a story about a lazy kid. It's Juan the Lazy in English. Prove it. Wait for the teleporting animation to finish. Get to the next area. Wait for zombies to spawn. Kill them while completing one of four basic objectives. Wait to get sent back to the hub area. Buy your shit. Pick another portal. Wait for your team to approve it. God damn it! Just vote for this one! Fuck, now we have to wait longer! Am I playing Elevator Simulator? Waiting My for something gosh. to do is half of the gameplay. I feel like half the time I'm trying to find the zombies instead of them finding me. Does that make sense? You know, in a good zombies mode, the player is no, it does not. to seek out supplies, you know what I mean? 
Like these pauses in the horde's attacks give you opportunities to repair yeah, walls. Like survival in Modern Warfare 3 for me. Punch, run to the other side of the map to grab a perk or weapon you need. Hunt down the mystery box. Set up a trap. Look for shield parts. Activate Easter eggs. Pick up some gobble Ooh. gums. Especially in newer games, you're like always running around doing something. Treyarch, man, you guys were doing all right with Cold War. You blew it. You had it all and you blew it. If I have to be fair with Treyarch, uh. I think they didn't have enough time. So we know that deadlines are demanding. We know that company has to come first. You have to do your job. But if you ask me, I think they didn't have enough time because the company didn't give them enough time. I know it's a part of the work. It's part of the job description, but come on. Would it kill you to give them an additional two months? Because these things take time. And you can't rush it. If you do, you get this. You happy with your investment? There's no sense of urgency, no impending doom when the next round starts. There's a literal safe area where zombies don't attack you unless you shoot them. What? It removes all intensity and it's drama. It's like a glitch. It's like, dude, you could be standing five feet away from them and they just, they don't even notice you. <laughs> boy, I'm really on the edge of my seat right now. Difficulty oh boy, is the tension is gone. Well, it basically plays itself with two or more people. I think Yo, zombies here won't scare me. Zombies. <laughs> How do you die in this? It's so easy. There are no bosses, no interesting challenges, special waves, and most of the time you don't even have to sprint or train zombies. You can just stand there. Look at how fucking fast you go with max stamina. Why is this necessary? No thought equals no strategy equals no fun. The only slice yep. of challenge Boring. offered is perhaps the stupidest enemy type ever implemented in zombies. A giant guy with a machine gun? Excuse me? Why is this a thing? These guys turn the corner and shred your armor in an instant. It's not fun. The oversights in design are so it's basic. Like a, basically I'm a juggernaut. Trick even managed to include a scoreboard. Why is Pack a Punch available at the start? How come this game doesn't track any stats whatsoever for this mode? Given that Treyarch had to step in last year to develop Cold War when Sledgehammer dropped yep. the ball, I yep. imagine Activision they didn't had have enough a time. chainsaw held at Treyarch's nutsack and. This is the result. To make <laughs> gameplay even shit. more boring, it takes fucking forever to amass any amount of meaningful points. 20 points per kill, 30 per headshot. I hate that. But they kept the same prices for the mystery box. I've been at a victim of those kinds why, of games. Why does Pack a Punch cost 7,500? Oh, I know why. Because the game wants to force players into completing objectives. Treyarch wants you to play in an extremely specific way and no other way. Like, there's no reason there's to no freedom, basically. Pack a punch We're playing the, the game. The box can give you a triple pack at gunpoint for free. <laughs> what? Okay, what? now. Ho hold up. What? Now that's why do borderline enemies, ridiculous. Why do some enemies drop triple packed weapons for no fucking reason? Let's talk about the only map that's available, Duran Fang. A Frankenstein monster stitched together from previous assets found in a 13-year-old game. Not Ouch. to mention the multiplayer maps from Vanguard, so yeah, about half of the map is just reused assets. The locations are boring and uninspired. What bugs me is they keep blue-balling you by teleporting you to fun areas, and they're like, Don't you wish you could play Shido Numa right now? Well, too bad, we're locking up. 75% of it. Have fun in this tiny little enclosed area. Apathy is death. Worse than death. Because at least a rotting corpse feeds the beasts and insects. The entire map uh. is just chunks, segments with no flow or interconnectivity. You want to talk story? Aside from one mildly impressive cutscene, it's just demon voices constantly talking over a radio. You have the blackest heart. I don't even get to hear the rest of the voice line. Like, the di the dialogue is so bad. I defy these fighters, Corticus. You do not deserve them. Where did you find these fighters, Morticus? Ah, you should fight the Revenants and the- <laughs> You strike at my Augmentors, you will find they strike back harder. It's just nonsense. The dudes, like, they, they talk every time you look at something. Like, if you look at a perk machine, they'll be like, This is the perk of a true champion. It's like, shut the fuck up. I know what Juggernaut does. Then feed you to my Augmentors. 
What? This Every time you purchase something just... from the mystery box, they feel the need to chime in with their own like witty quips. <gasps> now, since you're playing Vanguard Zombies and with we, the operators how long from we? multiplayer, your character feels completely disconnected from whatever is taking place. We're not I'm even halfway even in, and I'm losing energy because of this lines stupidity. For these characters, you know. One thing I'll say stupidity. about it is that I thought Arthur Kingsley's quips were entertaining. Have to lean into these. They kick like the very devil himself. The only other thing that's good about Vanguard Zombies is the main menu theme. At least the music guys weren't slacking. Okay, nice so back in January, Treyarch addressed I love fan music. outcry for a traditional zombies experience. And in an update, they did add a round-based mode, which is just going to 25% of Shinonuma and fighting there until you want to leave. Our expectations <laughs> oh, for you were low, but holy fuck. Zombies that is pitifully sucks. boring, tedious, thoughtless, and offers the same feeling of smashing your testicles with a hammer. Nothing has been improved from any previous entry. The only thing that still exists is the <sighs> core loop of shooting zombies, which has been downgraded immensely. Everything else has been cut. Vanguard Zombies is a complete waste of everyone's time, and there is nothing redeemable about it. That's vicious, so with zombies my dude. being an undeniable dumpster fire, does no. multiplayer at least do anything better? No. I I doubt it. Our new dog model is taken from high-resolution scans of an actual SEAL Team ow, service dog. Ow, ow, Unfortunately, ow. Vanguard is little more than a reskin of a reskinned Call of Duty. Let's start with the operator system love Modern that Warfare. keeps shoving into Call of Duty. There is an impressive lack of personality and charm within the operators, announcers, and style of the game. This is the most generic World War II game you have ever played. Now, it kind of worked in Cold War because that campaign was amazing and the characters I were want awesome to play it. I don't want any more spoilers. Out certain voice actors. I mean, you had no reason to play as anybody but Russell Adler, so... You know, but there was content for their inclusion in the multiplayer. Context. The problem with Vanguard is they throw in a bunch of characters you've never seen or heard before. The ones from the campaign aren't that great, and you just sit there looking at the others like... Well, who the fuck is that? Oh, watch a generic one-minute scene to establish everything about them and their personality. Doesn't work like that. Call of Duty's art style has been obliterated by its uninspired design and overindulgence in microtransactions. It's Attack an amalgamation of various of trends copied from other successful IPs. Heroes that have nowhere near the personality of those in Overwatch. Cosmetic bundles from anime shows. In a World War II game. What the? They're it's basically multiplayer. trying to turn Call of Duty into Fortnite That's with fine. all these collaborations. Like, rather than pursue a crazy Wolfenstein-type setting and atmosphere that opens the door for wacky cosmetics, Sledgehammer plays it safe. Yet again. And just does World War II. Again. Let's talk about some of the cosmetic stuff. Of course, it wouldn't be a sledgehammer game if this wasn't something we could all point at and laugh. My fucking god. Three grips that all look the same. They're three different rarities. What's the difference? The cosmetics in COD Vanguard are worse than the pistol grips. I said it. They're doing the same cringy what? thing DICE did with 2042. Right? They got these, oh my god, these embarrassing animations that look terrible. Like, hey, hey, we're all shooting each other in World War II. We're having fun. Well, well, well. That was fun. Well, that was good. Uh, um, this is weird. What the fuck was that? You know, in a good game like Battlefield 1, the cosmetics all felt very subdued because if they weren't, it would just mess with the art style and look and feel of the game. You didn't have some flaming helmet guy running around because the focus was on immersion and well, atmosphere. Well, it's Halo. You weren't playing Battlefield 1 because you were hyped about this samurai animation you paid $20 for. You played it because it was fun. In true apathetic fashion, Vanguard recycles its monetized content across all operators. Almost every single, like, intro Nothing and special. finishing highlight animation is reused across all operators, blending them all together better than their bland personalities ever could. Shouldn't each <laughs> character have, like, their own cool, okay, you intro have a point. that makes them look different? No. That would require effort. What do I look like? A guy who's not lazy? Right, like, that you was see cool. three different characters do that, like, Pistol whack, pistol whack. Once you see that three times in a row, it's like... I'm sick of it. 
You also can't quit during the end of match highlights, so you're forced to watch this crap. Even worse. Some of the animations are decent, if not passable, yep. but others in the game are part of monetized bundles when they are literally unfinished. Oh, well, check out this one. Unfit. You like the way he stabs a guy with a hammer? Yes, yes, stabs a guy with a hammer. Stabs a guy with a hammer. Oh my gosh. It, and if I thought and you that you wouldn't where, sink like, any he's, lower. He's holding up a gun that's not there, and he's like, Ugh. And you could just easily Photoshop a dick into that. <laughs> they even recycled the hammer stab for six different unlocks. Like, it, is the menu even finished? What is happening? What are these what is names? wrong with my Why camera? Why is the bundle left with this placeholder name and missing image? And you're not prepared for this one. Her legs are backwards. She's an elite from Halo. What, what is she even doing? <laughs> wow! Where's the blood coming from? Why is this guy halfway off the screen? Someone what failed their homework today. The Bruh, they're selling stuff they didn't even finish programming. Oh, it's How does stuff like this get past quality assurance. Hold on, hold just... on. You mean it's available on the store and you can buy that garbage? Oh, you. Now, and if I said highway robbery was before, now that's mugging. We've, we, if you bought that bundle, you've just been mugged, dude. That is not cool. Not at all. Take the whole year off. I like how there's voice lines for when you do certain actions in multiplayer, but, but it's just the same two options. Shh, don't ruin the moment. Shh, don't ruin the moment. Hey, remember when World War II happened and there was no other faction besides the British and a ragtag group of generic special operators all fighting in a playground for fun? Remember how World War II had no Germans, Japanese, Russians, French, Polish, A lot or of people United are States involved in that. Anywhere on the battlefield? Hey, why don't you make a World War II game that involves Asia? One country that we know that's been a part of the battlefield, and I don't care if there's no notable moments that happened. The Philippines was a battleground for Americans versus Japanese. Along with that, we have Filip Filipino guerrilla fighters fighting during that time. Why not show shed some light on some parts of the war that get overlooked too much? Because the big countries are the only ones that are mentioned. There are smaller countries. What about China? They were a part of it. For goodness sake, there's a lot of countries that was a part of it and none of them have been given proper recognition or at least um, memorialized. No, my family hasn't been a victim, but still, to be part of a country that was subdued and captured during that time, Philippines had it rough. Uh, History 101. It was not a good time for us. But our people still fought back. Guerrilla fighters were the finest of their time. They really didn't surrender at all. Especially the fall of Corredor. But that's enough of my nonsense for now. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tidbit of trivia. Let's get back to it. And we're not only halfway done! You remember when my team fought the enemy team? My so team, you don't even call them team. allies versus <laughs> Axis? No, that's Those just dumb! Grandpa, can you tell me about your team? If I you thought you were getting any more World stupid or you'd yes, continue team. to profound me, team. surprise me. And the enemy team. We didn't know this anything is about them, just that they were the enemy. In true apathetic fashion, Sledgehammer apathetic has removed all of the factions and flair of a World male? War II video game in their World War II video game. Part of what made Call of Duty cool was the different factions, even if it had no effect on gameplay, it, it was yep. flair, it was context, right? You're playing as the, the Navy SEALs, or the Op 4, or maybe the, the Rangers, you know? Like, Rangers, Rangers lead the way. Lead the way. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a soda! I love the Rangers. Especially MW2. You got that sick ass music at the beginning. Team Deathmatch. Oh, that's cool. 
I love Hans Zimmer. Take no prisoners, comrade. Salute to you, my That's dude. That's just some British guy who's like, Oi, make sure you save some crumpets and tea for me after you shoot that guy's head off. Team Deathmatch. Subdue all threats. Use all your senses. Sight, sound, touch, smell, and gun. Oh my god. That's that cringe. Was... I hate this guy. Nothing against the Brits, but why is there only one fucking announcer for the whole multiplayer? There should be many. Oh, uh, if you want to be so inclusive, At least a maybe hire a Japanese voice actor to voice the Japanese faction. Like that. Unite for the glory of Japan. Oh, but we can't do that because we have to have these generic operators to sell skins and dumbass animations that aren't even finished and voice lines that suck. And none of this really falls in line with a specific country or group, so we'll just get rid of groups and factions entirely. Fuck you. Extra credits should not have gotten a W from their terrible video that was a joke to everyone. What? And you actually listened to them. There you are, playing the PvP in your World War II shooter, and all of a sudden... You're a Nazi. What? You see that little Empire of Japan flag? It's Flair. I don't care if the announcer sounds like a stereotype. He's supposed to. I'm playing as the Japanese. Call of Duty and games in general it are should never be going relative. To be perfect when it comes to historical Woo. accuracy. Do not pray <laughs> we got a juggernaut lives, in World War I. Pray nice. Stronger men. But older CODs always seem to have a respect for that history and understand it. Plus, the weapon designs weren't so outlandish that the guns became unrecognizable, even with attachments. Vanguard's base weapon models look amazing. So shiny. sleek, shiny, highly detailed. Might be the best looking World War II guns I've ever seen. It's cool. Until you start putting stuff on them. What? All right, we'll pause there. The butt. This is gonna oh, be a lot of God. pained I would keep it stuck. I in this review. I'll keep wow, it the default. I don't care. So clearly, somewhere in a past life, a Browning I BAR you. M1918A2. You can tell from the magazine guides. Even yep. All the other features. It's obvious. By some sadistic. I maniac. love the BAR. The Egyptian slash East German slash Polish. Uh, sorry for pausing again. I know it's long. What is your favorite World War II weapon? For me, because of the games I played when I was a kid, it was the Thompson, the M1911, and the Bar. That's about it. But if I go on the other side, it's the MG42 and the Panzer Shrek. Oh, I forgot the M9 Bazooka too. I haven't heard of the recoilless rifle. It never appeared until Medal of Honor Airborne. My first World War, my first World War game was. Medal of Honor, Allied Assault. That's it. I hope. What's yours? The more you know. Sorry about that. Esk AK wire folding buttstock makes me cry a little inside. God, I think this is a Garand. What have they done to you? I can hear John Cantius Garand revolving in his grave. Probably that doesn't even remotely look like an M1 Garand. Garand. This is why I think Vanguard should have gone for an alternate reality World War II setting. Because then they could like do Wolfenstein. all of this and it would make sense. It wouldn't feel out of place. Yeah, what is with these sites, dude? What? It, tell me. Someone tell me what these sites I don't sites care are about the about. sites. I'm going to play the game there. Default. I don't care. World War II. Like having red dot sites. Uh, ex excuse the only thing me? I'll add are perks. And That's it. And pause again there because we have one of these heinous optical sights. <laughs> I'm not sure what it looks like. It's tiny. I mean, we can barely make optical sights as with a field of view like this now. So we certainly didn't have them in the 1940s. Okay, so now that I've established Vanguard's lack of identity and style, Let's check the gameplay. There do. is a certain amount of fun you can get playing Vanguard. That's what I'm looking for. Fun. And have nothing better to play. It should be obvious at this point, but my exact same complaints about Cold War looking and feeling identical to Modern Warfare are true here. It's the same shit, different disc. This is basically a World War That's II Call of Duty for, for you, warfare. in a nutshell. It's the same World War II weapons you've used a hundred times before, with the same mechanics. I guess now you can blind fire, but it's pretty pointless. They added a few new perks post-launch, which is nice, but besides that, everything is stuff you've seen before. Same kill streaks, perks, same attachments, it's the same game. Yeah. Do what Ghost did with the perk system, I don't care. Just switch it up. For God's sake, at its <laughs> core, the gameplay angry. is, you know, it's playable. There's some crazy movement. It's a lot more fast-paced than Modern Warfare and Cold War. 
But the thing that killed this game for me in less than two days is a complete lack of any innovation. Oh. I made this video on Halo 5 like five years ago. And it should not Sorry, be- Sorry, Ackman, I have low standards in life, but I don't give a damn of innovation. But I would appreciate some innovation too. I just don't care if there's none. I'm not going to complain about that. As long as it's fun, as long as it's playable, it's okay. But the one thing that I will never accept, that it's going to be filled with so much glitches, bugs, to the point that I can't play it. Uh, what else? Missing things that should be there in the first place. Like certain guns. If they put a price tag on the BAR and I have to unlock that gun, I'm gonna slap a bitch. I'm gonna slap one! Oh my gosh, I'm getting triggered so much from this. Why is the... Why are the freaking companies doing this to us? Is it still about the players? Is it still about the gamers, the consumers, or is it just about the money now? I guess it is. We all know where the, the world is going. It's straight down the toilet. If this is what for gamers is, then what do I expect in real life? My gosh. Relevant. We're Why almost there, done. Only stunning lack 11 of more minutes of my bullcrap. Every single time. Like Domination. I played Gavuchu. Domination, dog. I played it in every single Call of Duty ever yep. made. Give me a new fun mode or something. You added some gun weird game. I want gun game. I have yet to play gun game. You neuter because you don't want it competing with Warzone. You added this pacing thing, which das simply house. means you can play the same maps and modes with different amounts of players. Hardly a revolution. Get this. The biggest and pretty much only new addition to Vanguard's multiplayer is King of the Hill, but the hill moves constantly. <laughs> that's it. That's all you have. That, I have that's all King in the Hill in Halo Infinite. What kind of a man are you? You're worthless and weak. You do nothing. You are nothing. Even if you don't <laughs> want to branch out and try new modes, fine. But at least throw in as a many point. old modes as you can. What, what about tanks or capture the flag? Yeah, I want Demolition some tanks. Cranked. Get no, me a Call Sherman. Three had a one flag mode. Why don't you make asymmetric objective maps? Why don't you innovate? Why don't you listen? It's all perspective, right? I mean, COD World War II's war mode was trash, but at the very least. You could build a bridge. Keep the enemy from building the bridge. The enemy is building a bridge. The, the bridge is being built. The bridge is That's built. getting annoying. The is a it's getting Stop the enemy Stop. From building that bridge. They're building a bridge. It like, is I annoying. The war mode okay. probably I get more the point. All of Vanguard's multiplayer. Why? Because it was different. Because even if it was just a shameless ripoff of operations from Battlefield, it it had some novelty. Call of Duty is a factory line production where imagination and creativity go to die. Apathy Oof. Is dead. RIP! They even, RIP imagination. They even fucked up the care package too. Remember in Black Ops 4 sometimes the care package just wouldn't work? Well now the damn thing comes flying at you 70 miles per hour. You have no idea where it's going to land and it takes 10 seconds to be able to redeem it. If you get hit by that, are you gonna die? <laughs> wow. I will say, with 100% honesty, Cluster I think fudge. Vanguard's maps are pretty good, individually. When looking at them all together, they're not, it's like it's not a unique package, but they play well. They offer some cool little strategies and surprisingly the destructible environments do something. You know, well, sometimes you can nice. get a good angle on another player or a sightline just by strategically destroying Bang. cover. I like seeing Call of Duty Wall play bangs. around with these types of ideas. I just wish they would have taken it a step further. At the very least, Vanguard can be fun fair if you use a shotgun. You want oh, I'm gonna enjoy problem, the trench the gun. Movement. Everyone runs around like they're cranked. Like Arthur Kingsley just snorted G Fuel before the match. At some point in its lifespan, Call of Duty decided that making decisions and using your brain was too boring for the seven year old toddlers that beg their mommy to buy them the next Call of Duty. <laughs> so, with the exception if that's of the demographic, then wow. Since Black Ops 3. The series has slowly transformed into a pacifier. 
you put it in your mouth, suck on it, and bite. But you don't think about what it is you're Sorry. doing. It's simply pacifying you. Yeah. What was once I a tactically so. simple first-person shooter hey, has that a reminds me of running gun the part in Modern game. Warfare Some decisions made for Modern Warfare don't make any sense here. Unlimited sprint and tactical sprint. In Modern Warfare, the maps were bigger. You moved slower. It made sense. Now you can just zoom around a corner. When the time to kill is so fast, the maps are small, and everyone runs around like Usain Bolt, you find yourself not thinking at all about how to engage the enemy. Ow. Rainbow Six Siege is like the extreme version of this tactical shooter style, but Call of Duty used to be the more approachable, streamlined version of that with respawns. All the weapons feel like laser beams, LMGs handle like assault rifles. They severely misuse maps like Dome, which is meant for free-for-all and not 12v12. Like, in Vanguard, there's no camera. attempt at trying to have teams coordinate and work together. And one of the reasons what I've been turned off from attached to the gun? multiplayer is the skill gap. Now, before it's the pick hideous. 10 system, every Call of Duty lets you have only one attachment. Two if you got bling. So, if a player using two attachments goes up against a player that has zero, the differences aren't so extreme. They're just big enough to make the player using the attachments feel more powerful and for the other player to want to grind for them. Enter Vanguard, where we run out of ideas and screw it and give every gun 10 attachments because what the fuck is weapon balance anymore? Hey kiddo, the real fun happens after you grind 30 hours with this one weapon and play with no other weapon. Who, who wants to get manhandled by people with 10 attachments when you have none? I don't feel inspired to grind the I game's don't progression to access the fun mode. I'm just gonna increase this the magazine a bit. This is why the bundles and weapon blueprints are a thing so you can spend money one. and just bypass the time it would normally take to progress. The game should be fun. That That's what is makes ugly. me want to grind it. It just seems like Call of Duty sacrifices so much of its identity and cool factor for the sake of progression and monetization. Rather than make a video game that is fun, and that fun is what makes you continue to play. Yep. Vanguard's progression system and attachments Sad to say. are a crutch for gameplay that does not stand up on its own. You need the carrot on the stick to keep chasing because Call of Duty's core design is based around addiction, not enjoyment. Ah. At last, we arrive at the campaign, and I have so little energy remaining at this point, but let's give it a shot. All the right. premise was interesting. Me. You're part of a group of spec ops soldiers trying I don't to assassinate mean you hit me. Hitler's successor. Oh boy, this is gonna be epic. The cinematics is cool. of the game is just pointless flashbacks to give these characters personality. You got Arthur Kingsley, the leader and a pretty cool British dude. There's Polina, the Russian sniper. Lucas Riggs, the Australian guy. Wade Jackson, a hotshot American pilot. Now, you might be asking, why there aren't any notable COD characters in this Where's game. Where's Captain Price? Well... The World War II variant. It's because they didn't think there were any. What? The iconic COD characters, because you don't really have that in Call of Duty, right? Are you insane? Are you seriously insane that there are no iconic COD characters? They don't exist? What? Who's Victor Reznov? Who's Cap... Uh, what about Captain Price? What about Mason? What about Woods? What the frick are you talking about? What about Gaz? What about Ghost? What about Roach? I know, no, I know that he didn't get the show. What about Ramirez? What about Sergeant Foley? What in the world are you people drinking? Are you drunk when you make that kind of announcement? Or that comment? For God's sake, I... They're being run by idiots? They're filled with idiots? I am so triggered right now. What is wrong with the people? You don't even know your product or the characters within your product. Do you even have a history or background with the company or at least know anything about your history? Captain Price was the first notable character I've seen in Call of Duty. In Call of Duty 1! 1! It was the mission where the ship, where we infiltrated, but he didn't make it out, and I did. My freaking gosh. Ah, the world. It's fine, it's fine, and the world is burning around me. It's still fine, it's fine. <sighs> now, you know, when you think about 
um, a game like uh, Halo, you think of Master Chief or whatever. When you think of COD, there's really that standout like, oh, these characters. I hate you. Oh, Ghost. So much. General Shepard, so... I forgot about him. Mason? Soap? I forgot about him too. Woods. Victor Reznov. So the story starts off with Arthur King you talking are about his group being cast to retrieve files defense. on the top secret Project Phoenix. There's people that often seem to be forgotten when it comes to World War II. Tactical nuke ready for launch. It does a good job of oh showing gosh. the diversity in nationality, SGM. backgrounds, no and the wonder. idioms and phrases they use. Like this gem. Oh yeah, we'll just waltz our way through a field of death. Well, we're not here to fuck spiders. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are there Nazis in the campaign? Uh, I'm offended. You should call them the enemy team. What? No, no, no. Don't. Hitler is in this game? Did you just say the word Hitler? No, that's offensive. Call him funny mustache guy or Hatler. You don't want to be offended, do you? You didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. Somebody get extra credits on the phone. They're going to love this. So this team has no idea what they're looking for, and neither do we. Now that we've been properly shot at, might the officer in charge tell us what the hell we're doing here? The writers throw us into this train section, expecting us to be attached to the characters and setting when we have no reason to be. So what's the plan, fellas? And... Lady? I shoot Nazis. They die. That's my plan. <sighs> Such a personality, are you? Such okay. an amazing personality. That was pretty bad. Memorable. The game can't be like that, right? Yeah. That's why we brought the guns. To shoot them. Why am I still talking about this game? Just to suffer. <laughs> so Scooby Doo and the mystery uh, why game are we still here? the submarine looking for the juicy deets on Project Phoenix. I gotta give credit where credit is due. They didn't tap dance around showing the swastika. So you're about to grab the deets when suddenly. Flashbang through the door! Oh no! We're all There's a flashbang at that time. time. To introduce our generic German bad guy. Ah, right on time. Beethoven's Fort Sonata has exquisite, but demanding passengers that deserve my full attention. Unlike you. Shut the fuck up. You see what they're doing? They're going for that elegant and refined yet cruel German stereotype. Yeah. This guy's about to get racist, isn't he? There's a new Enemy nuke incoming! It's over! Now, see, I told you. So the mystery gang banners with Herr Freisinger until he snaps and goes WWE on your ass. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! What I will Even say if is it's that wood, it will still hurt. Look fantastic. They even had some promotional material emphasizing how they were bringing in a film director and the effects that had on the story. And that's cool. But if I look at Cold War, I don't really see much of a difference. Though these cutscenes can be long at times, they're pretty much the only thing that kept me playing. As expected, yeah. Vanguard does not attempt a gritty, horrific approach to World War II, but rather a happy-go-lucky, we're-all-on-a-team type of atmosphere. Honestly, I just want Call of Duty to shock me again. Without playing its hand so obviously like in Modern Warfare where they just had the bad guy shoot a child. Vanguard plays it completely 100% safe for a World War II game. Now, when you're making a story in such an oversaturated setting for storytelling, uh, well, it helps to do something to set it apart. You know, I was just re-watching those old World of War cutscenes, and man, using real footage of World War II, it's, it's kind of spooky. Yep. It reminds you that though this is fictionalized, what you're playing through actually happened. Look, rather than run through the story of the whole campaign piece by piece, can I just say it's generic and uneventful? You know, at the very least, Call of Duty is usually good about cementing some kind of gimmick or iconic imagery in your head. Think of the elevator scene in MW2 or Shepard's Betrayal or those frozen those are memorable sequences from Cold War. I haven't seen that. No spoilers, Black please. Ops. Vanguard doesn't really have anything memorable about it. The music slaps, though. At least by the end, the squad all kind of came together. The music but really always the carries very on. Very last mission is the only good one. They're the only one that does right the job after. right. As far as gameplay goes, you've played this before. You've played this five times before. <laughs> you know, when I think about Cold War and Black Ops Two, I only when played I it three times. The best before. campaigns in the franchise. I put so much of that weight 
on the decisions, the branching paths, the multiple endings. Like, I can't help but wonder why they don't give any player choice in the matter. Let me affect the story. Let me affect the war that's happening. That's how you get me involved and invested. Look, the campaign isn't terrible, but it's by the books. It's apathetic. You know, I could point out all the cringy dialogue, how Polina's character is just, I killed the Nazi. That is plain. I shoot Nazis. They die. That's my plan. Shoot Nazi. Plan. I don't want them to see us coming. They can't see anything when they're dead. Jesus Christ. People die. Oh yes, let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. But I've already put in more than enough time for a game that a really doesn't cut deserve out. it. It deserves my apathy. <laughs> you cannot kill me. So I can't really stomach any more of this garbage. There's a reason it's taken me so long to make this review because focusing my brain cells on it was just a waste of time. But I hope it was an entertaining waste of time. Vanguard isn't just uninspired. It's apathetic. And so is this review. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Statement. Apathy is death. 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 Well, <clears throat> that's it. And you don't need any more from me to learn what my final statements on the matter at at, at hand. I got so triggered watching this entire thing, and I hope that's enough entertainment for you people. And share the video if you want to. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy my return. And more videos will be on its way, sorry for the delay. Buster here, thank you guys for watching, and I'm finally signing out.